Now we will welcome Professor Pang from Civil Engineering to share with us more about building a sustainable future with Civil Engineering. When you hear Civil Engineering, what do you think about? Does the word sustainability come to mind? Because it should. Extreme weather events are disrupting the way we live. Sea levels are rising, which means our coastlines could go underwater. The world is changing rapidly, and that's raising a ton of questions about sustainability. Meanwhile, over half of the global population lives in urbanized areas. That number is only going to go up. So how are we going to develop our cities and keep our world in shape? Civil engineering is working to solve these issues and more. Yeah, you heard me. Civil engineering. And when you join NUS, you won't just read about these problems. You are going to dig your hands into design projects, integrated projects, and industrial attachments. You will learn about greener construction processes, adopting current infrastructure for green technology, and creating nature-based solutions to mitigate climate change. The school also exposes you to technology at the forefront of industry. Think robots, machine learning and AI programs, and computer modeling. Experiential learning at NUS means you will be part of the solution from day one. Civil engineering is a broad discipline that can take you anywhere. And that's not an exaggeration. From all inspiring buildings to underground structures that support our daily lives, you are going to redesign the way we live, work and thrive in our changing world. That's why NUS does more than teach you to be an engineer. It gives you the skills to be an engineer leader. NUS is recognized as a top university in civil engineering with a stellar reputation among employers for training industry-ready graduates. We are literally designing the future here, a climate-resilient future. So next time you think about civil engineering, think about a sustainable world and how you can change the game. Good morning, I'm Professor Pang from uh, Civil Engineering. First, I'd like to thank you for your time. And uh, I'll start off with answering the question that most of you may have. What is Civil Engineering? I've, you have seen from the slides earlier or the video earlier, Civil Engineers plan, they design, they create and manage a livable city around us. You look around us, you have iconic structures that define our identity. We have smart infrastructures that connect us. We have nature-based solutions for built environment that addresses climate emergency. And sustainable solutions that ensure our island survival. And green solutions that reduce waste and carbon footprint for sustainability. In all, you'll see that Civil engineers do make a great impact and we will continue to do so. Impact in terms of and creating a sustainable development for the city. Moving forward, however, we do face challenges that affect humanity. If you look at in terms of our land resource, we are facing a shortage of land for waste disposal. And there's a large amount of carbon dioxide emitted in the built environment. You, you see that a lot of the materials that is used for buildings, they do emit a high number of a uh, large number of carbon dioxide. And there is a lot that we can do, do to decarbonize the built environment. On top of that, we do hear a lot about climate change, rising sea level. And we have, uh, you look at the, um, the picture over here. Potentially, you will see that a huge part of Singapore around the coastline will be under seawater at uh, two, uh, 2100 and we are under this severe threat. So why civil engineering at NUS? We would like to train the next generation of leaders to create a sustainable future towards zero waste and also decarbonizing the built environment. Examples of the things that we do, we look at a huge amount of the waste clay 
to recycle into green concrete. There's also a large amount of plastics which are now recycled and we'd like to recycle them into green export. We are leading in terms of prediction of the effects of climate change on flooding and also on the coastline and NUS will continue to do so. In terms of learning, we would like to enhance your learning with the best facilities. We have the Asia's largest wave tank where we could do simulation on how the effects of climate change will affect the coastline. We have the Southeast Asia first augmented, uh, augmented uh, reality and virtual reality lab where students will have an opportunity to understand and also to deploy digitization in, into their future work. And you see over here, you have the robotic uh, dog we actually have one which is going around the campus. We are doing research and also projects with the students to look at autom uh, how automation could actually help to transform the industry. And we also have the world's largest, uh, Asia's largest geotechnical centrifuge where we could do a lot of studies at a much accelerated rate. So we are equipped with the latest in technology to train you to be a future leader in the field. You look at the, um, the subject ranking, we have been ranked consistently the top among the world. Uh, in 2019 and 2021, we are ranked number two in civil and structural engineering. And last year, we are ranked number three. And most importantly, how our employers view our graduate. If you look at the, the survey in terms of the employer reputation score, that employer reputation score help us to identify institution which source for the most competent, most innovative, and most effective graduates. And NUS have consistently been ranked the top, having a perfect score of 100 for three consecutive years. And that is shown in, in, in terms of how the employers value our students. They are highly valued. In the most recent graduate employment survey conducted by, N, uh, by MOE, you look at the salaries that our graduates have, uh, the one, the top table is for NUS. We are, you can see that we are actually, the students are actually well valued and well compensated by the industry. And we do have awards that are given out in Singapore. And there is one uh, very prestigious award given out by the Association of Consulting Engineers. And you will see that Year by year, every year, we do get the, the awards for our alumni. Again, a testament on the best training, civil engineering training, to produce the best consulting engineers in Singapore. But more importantly, we invest in our greatest assets, which are our students. We have mentored our students to participate in multiple competitions, you look, uh, here is an example where our students have participated in the uh, JTC, Jurong Town Corporation Virtual Case Challenge, where the students are looking at various ways to help the SME to, dish, uh, to transform in the digital world. And our students actually won the, uh, the competition in the university level category. And these are our students in the uh, final year. In the International Building Design Competition, again, our students have participated and worked collaboratively not only within civil engineering, but also with, other, the, with the students from other departments such as from architecture. In 2019 and 2020, um, the, in, uh, we have won multiple awards and in 2020, we won the second prize and also the Most Innovation Award. And another example on how our students are helping to decarbonize the built environment, they have participated in projects where they look at how we can make use of the waste material to reduce the waste in the built environment and to create or upscale or upvalue them into useful building materials. Here is an example during the pandemic in 2021, they took part in the American Concrete Institute annual conference and they won the civil award for converting waste marine clay into useful building materials. 
Another example where our students uh, look into automation, making use of 3D printing to uh, automate the built environment. And they took part in a competition that is kind of carried out by the, uh, uh, organized by the Singapore Concrete Institute. And they won the Young Innovators Award, which is only last year. They got the gold prize for that. And we do want our graduates to go beyond civil engineering, traditional civil engineering, to become entrepreneurs. We groom them to become entrepreneurs. One of our colleagues, Dr. Kevin Kwong, he has co-founded a company with his, with his final students when they were doing their project uh, to create AI into concrete materials using, uh, using uh, sensors to make it smarter so that that will help to reduce waste by knowing how the concrete perform and how the concrete actually concrete health will be. And that group has actually started a spin-off company, a startup, where they participated in a number of competitions. And the most recent one is the Alibaba Cloud uh, X uh, KR Asia. They won the Asia Star in that competition. And we do go beyond the textbook. And actually, a lot of our students are passionate about, uh, our civil engineering students are passionate about engaging the society and also to give back to the community. There is one iconic or actually flagship um, the program, which is Operation Orion. Operation Orion was started by the student ground up in year 2000. And for the past two decades, they have been moving around the different countries around Singapore, which are underdeveloped, but which are in need of a sustainable way to help their community grow. And you can see the various countries they have been, they have been to. They have, looked, they have worked on um, creating shelters for them, creating water supply for them, creating clean water for them, creating energy for them. And this has been recognized by the university for the past few years. They have been winning the Platinum Award in terms of the community service. We also have another uh, uh, example where our students have the opportunity to go out to the neighboring countries. This was done in a module where the students went to Yunnan and they will look at the village over there and look at how they could help the village to plan in terms of the logistics, in terms of their transportation, and to make an impact in the communities around them. So beyond the studies, they do have a vibrant student life. The students are involved in a number of activities. They have a student clubs. They do have a lot of bonding uh, activities that will help to forge lifetime friendship among the students. So there are a few upcoming events. Uh, do take note, uh, there's one event that is, which is coming out on Monday, 27th of February. Uh, you can scan the QR code for that event. And also there's another event which is coming up on uh, 2nd of March, Thursday. It will be done through, uh, both will be done in Zoom. Uh, you can scan the QR code. So I'll pause over here for the scanning of QR code. And we do hope to hear from you on some of the programs that we have and some of the activities that we have in place for you. So to find out more about the program, do visit us at our website. And we'll be happy to answer any questions that you may have during the Q&A later. Thank you.